From Branson, Missouri, in the heart of the Ozarks, welcome to the Bullnobber Hillbilly Jamboree Show. The early years of the Branson music scene were filled with the country western sounds of the Ballnobbers Hillbilly Jamboree, the Presley's Mountain Music Jubilee, and the Plummer Family Country Music Show. With ever-growing numbers of visitors to the area, 1974 would bring a new group to town with a different sound. That sound was the rich four-part quartet harmony of the Foggy River Boys. I believe in music. The group formed in 1967 in Joplin, Missouri. Five men with a wealth of knowledge in the field of entertainment cast their lots together to form a musical sound and style that would put them in demand. Bob Hubbard was the lead man. Dale Sullen sang tenor. John Shepard covered baritone. The late Denzel Koontz had the bass notes. And the late Bobby Moskop played the piano and was the funny man for the group. Well, search me, Lord. Search me, Lord. The group was born in the tradition of the famous Jordanaires Quartet of the Grand Ole Opry. The name originated from the Foggy River, which is the nickname of the Cumberland River, which runs through Nashville, and was given to the group by the A&R director of Decca Records. And we will sail away. It was in 1971, the Foggy River Boys became a part of the Ozark Mountain country music scene when they started performing in their own theater in Kimberling City. When the opportunity arrived in 1974, they relocated the show to their namesake theater on 76 Country Boulevard. From the very beginning, they chose to be a variety show group featuring every kind of music from country to gospel and barbershop to popular with heavy doses of comedy in the mix. That decision proved to be the right one. The Foggies performed to sold out fans night after night and year after year. During the off season, which in those days was November through April, the boys climbed aboard the bus to take Branson out on the road. Road shows not only entertained folks all over the United States, but it also educated thousands of potential visitors about the paradise we know as Ozark Mountain Country. With a highly successful career under their belt, the Foggy River Boys decided to retire in 1993. After 23 years of performing 8 p.m. shows, six nights a week, they were ready to trade the spotlight in return for a peaceful Ozark sunset. There's no doubt this group helped pave the way for many of the shows which exist today and had a lot of influence on Branson's current quartet, New South. The standard of excellence they set for Branson, Missouri will never be forgotten. Tonight, we thank the Foggy River Boys for dedicating their lifetime to bettering our community, and we celebrate their lifetime of achievement. A low down chariot, let me ride. 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 Low down the chariot, let me ride. Oh, low down the chariot.